Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cameron Scans. Me and my friends are very happy you can come and visit my channel. We have a great variety of videos. I'm sure you'll love them. I know I do. Don't forget to check out my playlist as well. I also got some good varieties of drawings and artworks, not to mention comics. I'm sure you'll love them just as much as I do. Don't forget to be on the lookout for my new uploads. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for this video. And if you enjoy it, please turn on notifications so you'll never miss a new upload. As always, I hope you enjoy this video. Doc the Great Western Engine puffed sadly to Edward's station. It's not fair, he complained. Diesel has been telling lies about me and made Sir Topham Hatt and all the engines think I'm horrid. Edward smiled. I know you aren't, and so does Sir Topham Hatt. You wait and see. Why don't you help me with these cars? Duck felt happier with Edward and set to work at once. The cars were silly, heavy, and noisy. The two engines had to work hard, pushing and pulling all afternoon. At last, they reached the top of the hill. Goodbye, whistled Duck, and rolled gently over the crossing to the other line. Duck loved coasting down the hill, running easily with the wind whistling past. Suddenly, it was a conductor's warning whistle. Hurrah! 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 laughed the cars. We've broken away! We've broken away! Chase him! Bump him! Throw him off the rails! they yelled. Hurry, Duck! Hurry! said the driver. They raced through Edward Station, but the cars were catching up. As fast as we can, then they'll catch us gradually. The driver was gaining control. Another clear mile and we'll do it. Oh, glory! Look at that! James was just pulling out on their line from the station ahead. Any minute, there could be a crash. It's up to you now, Duck, cried the driver. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam against the cars. It's too late, Duck groaned. He veered into a siding where a barber had set up shop. He was shaving a customer. The silly cars had knocked their conductor off his van and left him far behind after he had whistled the warning. But the cars didn't care. They were feeling very pleased with themselves. 